say you say it like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. This is the Diwali look that I have created with all wet and wild products. Not all, almost all. And if you're interested to know more about this look, then keep on watching. Hello, hi, my bare face welcomes you all. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of texture on my skin. I have crazy hormonal breakouts right here. Here, this is just the way how my skin is. There's a lot of bumps, there's a lot of pits, and there was one over here. It is going down. In general, my face is extremely oily and it is sensitive as well. So right now, I'm going to start doing my eyebrows first, and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. And just to let you guys know, I have nothing on my face just for some tinted lip balm. So this is what I have used. It's a Burt's Bee tinted lip balm. It is in the shade Hibiscus. I'm just using my trusty old Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the dark brown Dipro Pomade. I'm using their same brush in number 12. So right now my eyebrows are not that even, it's not that great. But I unfortunately do not have time to take a concealer and correct my eyebrows. I'm just gonna let it be this way. I'm okay with it but it's up to you if you want to do that it's an extra step you can surely do that it will just make your eyebrow look more snatched okay so the next product I'm going to be using is I'm going to prep my face so I'm using the clinic prep start and uh, this is a hydro blur moisturizer so this acts as a moisturizer as well as a primer so I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in this Now next I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Foundation. This is in the shade Desert Beige. So this again I have used it a very few times and I love this foundation. It's extremely medium to high coverage. So. And that's it for your look. Mm. So this is the foundation, it is an amazing foundation, it is such a good coverage. All my redness is gone except for this one. I'm using the concealer today, I have ordered the Wet n Wild concealer but it is on the way so I have no other choice and I'm really impatient so I'm just using the Makeup Revolutions uh, Conceal and Define, this is in the shade C10. This is perfect for brightening up my under eyes and just small tap. Eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Comfort Zone palette. Uh, this is again from Wet n Wild Color Icon. First, I'm going to be taking is the first shade right here. I'm gonna go with this eyes first. So I'm taking just an, any kind of a blending brush, a fluffy one, and concentrate only on the crease of my eyes. 
left, right, left, left, right. We're going to show you the right hand motion. Do the same with this other eye as well. I keep forgetting that it's this way for this, this way for this. Take my hand and eye coordination sucks. Now I'm going to go with this shade right here. This shade right here. This is just to concentrate on that specific area. The same with this side as well. I'm just taking the same shade again, concentrating only on the edge. So for the cut crease, I'm going to take uh, go back to the concealer, uh, the same concealer, and I'm going to take a synthetic kind of a brush like this, which is like thin and precise to cut the crease. So I am going to be using this shade right here, this one, and it's a beautiful rose gold kind of a shade. I'm going to use that one, but I'm just going to wet my brush just to intensify it. I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Setting, setting Spray. Sorry. So we're just gonna smooth out the edges. I'm gonna go back with this shade right here. This one. Just gonna concentrate on this area. Just darken it up.
So we are done with the eyeshadow part of the look. Uh, I just come back after I do my eyeliner and my lashes. Now I'm going to use just a normal kajal. I'm just using the Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes Retractable Pencil. Just go over my waterline. So gonna go for the concealer under the eyes, the same product that I used before that is the Makeup Revolution. Now quickly I'm going to set my under eyes and for that I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. So I'm just taking the same beauty blender, just dabbing on the banana powder of it. Got a lot of product. Now I'm going to take the Real Technique uh, contouring brush. I'm going to go over with the darker shade. Take the same shade and contour this part. Okay, so the next that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same contouring shade. I'm going to take some old angled brush. I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to go back with the banana shade. I think I have used the most out of this today. Should So I'm just gonna take a kabuki fluffy brush. I don't know what this brush is. It looks like that shaving kit that my dad used to use before. So yeah, just gonna wipe off the products. So next we have is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. It's in the shade Precious Petal, which is a gorgeous shade. I'm gonna take a fan brush. Just go over it this one I'm going to take the same highlighter, take a thin brush, something like this, coat it. Not even I'm just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. Just 
to give it a call. So now we are moving on to the blush and again I'm using a Wet n Wild color icon uh, blush. It is in the shade Okay, so last but not the least, it's for the lips again in Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Missy and Fierce. This is like the perfect dupe for the MAC Ruby Woo, uh, but in a liquid lipstick formula. Uh, but there is a huge drawback for this. I feel like I have used this product, I think, about uh, four to five times or even six maybe six to seven times or I will just put six to seven times but this has completely dried up it's like crazy dried up so I'm just gonna remove my tinted lip balm first and this lipstick is so fudge and difficult to remove but it is so pretty like look at it it is so beautiful the last is to lock everything down just using a nyx mattifying setting spray So guys, we are finally done with today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbs up as well as comment down below. If you have any questions, I shall reply back to you. Do not forget to follow me on my socials, which I'll mention somewhere here. And uh, until the next video, take care. Bye. Oh, can I guys do this? These are like workout for my ears. <laughs>